Okay. And we're back. Uh, just a short break today. Didn't even get water. Okay. Let's see. Oh. So he did go for mech. Going... Him going for mech when we're playing defensive is probably the worst situation for me. I would imagine. That was a pretty long game too. 15 minutes for Legacy of the Void is on the longer side. Okay, he's scouting for proxies, he comes into my base, sees my nexus first. I'm pretty happy with everything. I go for an adept scout. I don't know how I feel about this one. Oh, excuse me. Oh, but he made a bunker, so I guess that's fine. And then I saw the tech lab on it. He makes a liberator first. He goes for... Yeah, anyway. This liberator goes literally all the way around and then goes to harass. I had some pylons in position this time, so I wasn't that bad to deal with. It's just annoying because he could switch between my third and my second, and then the Banshee did a lot of damage. Yeah, 13 probes have been killed already. In terms of units, though, I'm still ahead in uh, workers, just because I got like everything up so early. And it's just so hard for me to break this. If I went for like um, a war prism, then it would have been so much easier because I could just uh, make the tanks get up position and he doesn't have like enough uh, anti-air to deal with it like in his main base and then here's this, I'm like a bazillion supply up, up on him he goes for some random rain pressure and in terms of units lost, yeah I've lost 20 workers I'm still up in probes <laughs> and supply I'm like really high up in supply. Oh, this is cute. Look at this. He even had a hidden base in Nopal. That's probably why. He wasn't uh, trying to take his fort that early. And then everything just went to poop. Lost. Yeah. Can't really break this the way that I did it. Let's uh, go back and watch the attack in slow motion to see what I could have done better. Um, I should probably slow down the game speed. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Okay, in terms of army supply. Um, yeah, we're up in army supply. We have plus two, plus two. We don't have charge though. In the production tab, charge is like halfway done from finishing. I have plus three, plus three on the way. He only has plus two, plus one. Okay, so let's watch this. This um, disruptor shot did a lot of damage. Everything's just getting ripped apart from these tanks now. And yeah, if I had some immortals as well, I should probably be adding on a second robo facility. Either when I have my third or my fourth, and I could probably just just send send some send some guys send gas. Okay, and I'm floating minerals for days. This disruptor is an MVP. Ten kills on it. Yeah. Control army. Sixty-two. This is so cheeky, man. I would have never scouted it though. I probably wouldn't have scouted it. Then I need to kill him somehow. Then I got a free tank kill. And then he starts moving out with his army. I'm like, oh, that's not that bad. Got some liberators for free. Still behind in terms of supply though, because I I can't. I'm not spending anything. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm, I'm so bad at protests. <laughs> okay, let's see. this base as well here then we're on oh I'm actually behind an economy once he gets this base up I thought we would be like even but I do have plus three plus three he only has plus two plus two he's not getting his plus three plus three either yeah okay so next time the opponent goes for a 
mech type play. We'll focus more on getting two what's it called two robotics facilities up. Dubs do pretty decently against tanks. Not that well though, actually. And disruptors cannot one shot tanks. This is good to know. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Let's see. Oops. No. What did I do? Uh, I just spam clicked. And now we're in a different replay. Okay, so. Plan of action next time. Scout him a little bit more. I don't think the first attack necessarily was a failure. As long as I was able to reinforce and stuff. If I had a proxy pylon. I think that's the name of the game, man. I'm just not good at making those proxy pylons. To harass and reinforce. They're so helpful too. Even if the warp in takes like two days. Okay. Going up against the Terran player this time. Oh, we've seen a lot of unorthodox strategies this morning. Which is really fun. Good luck. Okay, natural expansion. We're going to be going for a Nexus first again. And again, trying to secure our third nexus as early as possible. He said thank you. What a nice guy. A lot of people, when I've been playing on the any ladder, just say thank you after I tell them my race. They're all so nice. And the young girl's heart. Now the music can free her. So it looks like we get our Nexus on 18 supply. And I think that actually lines up with when uh, Zerg players get their hatchery, which is neat. No other word to really describe it except for neat. Can build this gateway. And then we get our gas up. Then we'll make a pylon over here. I'm Does this block? Yeah, it blocks it off, man. Reaper can't get in. It's nice. So the only way he can go is through the probe line. But he always risks me just pulling all my probes and killing it. I don't know how effective that is though. I don't see a lot of pro gamers doing it, so there must be a reason behind that. But We're gonna probe scout this game. Let's see what's up.
Oops. Let's see what we've got in here. Okay, he does have that. second up and we are supply blocked so we'll just cancel that and do it. get our third like was the plan Soup, 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 soup. I think we just lost. oriented play like that. Hmm. Was it just a little bit too greedy? Or was it because I was... Ah, uh, there were so many things that went wrong with that. The gateways weren't transformed into warp gates early enough. I didn't make enough attacking units that uh, just kind of killed me. I got supply blocked which delayed my attacking units. My... Yeah, and just the three adepts that got caught out of position where we're like, that was so bad. Not going to watch the replay because I should watch the replay. Okay. I didn't want to watch the replay because we did some analysis. It's kind of like um, can't. It's hard to say with analysis that you do without uh, looking at the replay, though, because it's just what you think happened. Like one game, I thought a Zerg player made a dropship <laughs> or a Overlord drop of Zerglings into my main base, and then I realized it was just a run by, and I didn't make a tight wallet. <laughs> that was fun not building probes when I was dealing with this. Lost three probes. In terms of units, I should still be ahead in the economy. I am. Okay, and then... Yeah, these warp gates, super late. Super, super late. In terms of units... In terms of army, though. Yeah, he's just like double my supply. Yeah. Okay, I did. I just didn't build attacking units this game. That's something that I didn't do. How many kills does this pylon have? Three, three and three. That's pretty good. 
Yeah, if I had more attacking units, then I would have been able to hold him right here. And then stop him while the pylons were doing a lot of work. But I didn't. He could have gone for a drop as well. But again, I just didn't have units. Okay. <laughs> I'm so bad at it. this type of style. But that's why we're playing. To get good, man. I am Tom Cruise, or his name is Ian Tom Cruise. Never met an Ian before, but you never know, man. Okay, so what was he? Can look up on Zerg. Was he turn? It's turn. Okay. Um. so I can defend these two bases pretty or at the same time. Where are you going, Overlord? You should be going somewhere over here. I don't know. Not that important. As long as you're going across the map, dude. I wonder... Yesterday in the GSL I saw a lot of Terran players doing a... Um, what's it called? Build? Three Racks Reaper build? Reminded me the, of the good old Wings of Liberty days when everybody was just... Uh, making Reapers and nothing but Reapers. And that's all they made because they outranged Roaches. <laughs> uh, good times, man. Good times. I was also watching the GSL, and I thought some Zerg players got an Overlord around now, but you don't really need it. Oh, this is really nice. I think you don't need it, because the hatchery... Okay. Harass. Harass. Haha. -ha. You're going the distance. Can we kill it? No, we can't. Okay, and he's making a factory. Oh, ah, oh, dang it. Micro. Oops. Oops, go. And he got so many kills with that. And I didn't get my third base up because of it as well. That was like great for him. Uh, and I'm pretty far behind in economy. No, I'm not. I delayed his CC. But I'm still behind because he killed drones and I made a lot of Zerglings. So I'm behind. Uh, so what do I want to do? I want to make overlords, that's for sure. Dang it, man. Okay, so he's defending that direction. So let's try and go in from that direction. And... Let's get some overlord spread around my base so we can spot for dropsies. Just going. Okay. Yeah, he's just going for a lot of barracks. Cool. And we should probably make another overlord, shouldn't we? Do, do. 
you going, kill? I need some more Zerglings though. Um, I think everything rallies there. Let's make another one of those. Spread some more of the overlords. Let's go for some banelings. These are drones, yeah? Okay, phew. Thought I accidentally made uh And... I thought I accidentally made Zerglings in complete thoughts. It's hard to talk and play StarCraft, man. Okay. S Hello. To the mate, er, to the natural expansion. Oh, he abuses the cliff. Finally get this. That's unfortunate. Ah man, I don't know how to deal with this. Probably with mutalisks, but I I it was really late. Ah, and I still didn't get my fourth hatchery. I wonder if he had like a widow mine there. Possibly. Jesus Christ, I don't think we won a single game. <laughs> oh, defense-oriented play is so hard, man. 
Jesus Christ. How do, like, Zerg players do it, man? I don't even know. Okay, so this is probably going to be the last replay analysis that we do, and then I'm going to be off for today. Got lucky with this scout. Killed my drill. I didn't make any thing to deal with the Reaper, and was punished because of it. This goes for three barracks really fast. Really hyped up the aggression. Oh, you also made two uh, engineering base. Look at that. Okay. So in terms of economy, I got supply blocked. In terms of units, army. I'm just behind an army, eh? Okay. So my natural expansion is slightly defended, and then I need it to just kind of like rally things together. I can't engage right here. This is this was bad. Um, again, I'm starting to just float a lot of units or minerals. Oh, and I made this hatchery, but I don't think I actually produced out of it the entire game. Yeah. Huh. I guess he just consistently picked off the uh, drone that was going over here, or I cancelled it, one or the other. And this widow mine man. So strong. <laughs> Um, yeah, my macro just uh, slips when I'm defending again as well. So, mm, defense is very difficult. I think I might be focusing more on defense-oriented play in the future as well. Just because it's so hard to defend things, man. Anyway, that's going to be that. Thanks for watching as always. I will be not streaming tomorrow. Because it is Christmas and... I will probably be resuming next week, so hope you guys uh, tune in for that as well. Thanks for watching as always, and I will see you guys uh, next year, or next week. <laughs>